and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the ultimate challenge. We are playing a deck with only challengers as our units. Uh, that's right. That's why it's meme tier Monday. So we have, let's check them out. We got Fleet Feather Tracker with Challenger, the Saplings that we create from Sapling Toss, Challengers, same with Valor. We need some, you know, we need some more early drops with our Challengers. And then, of course, we got Fiora and Laura Protégé for our three mana slots. At four mana, we'll play a Chevalier that can also strike and, and uh, create even more Challengers for us. And a silver wing vanguard if we need to go wide and challenge a couple of things and then top end we got swift wing lancer and thresh at the five mana spot and uh genevieve elmhart at six uh, we could you know back it up with like some spells you know like maybe a judgment with our fioras a vengeance to kill something back to back will be good for our challengers or an unyielding spirit on anything and some other removal concerted strike single combat Card draw with a couple glimpse beyonds and some protection with some reposts. So yeah, we're just having all challengers, all spells, um, and it's the the ultimate challenge. <laughs> all right, let's have some fun with it. Uh, we're gonna go play five games uh, over in normal. We just do normal with our meme tier Monday decks. Um, and this one should be some fun. There is. <clears throat> there is a way for us to not have a unit with Challenger, and that's with Swiftwing Lancer dying, and then creates, um, and you know, then creates something in hand. But honestly, we kind of needed, we kind of need that card still. Alright, Fleet Feather Tracker. Let's kill Fleet Feather Tracker <clears throat> with Sapling Toss. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. So yeah, next turn we'd have five five spell mana, so we wouldn't have back to back. We would have like if I play protege, we'd have con we could have concerted strike. I wonder if my opponent's gonna figure out what we're doing here. Fortune Quinn. <laughs> Dang. That's the bad part about playing normal is people conceding so fast. You know, they're just behind and, and they're like, well, I'll just take my zero points and go, go start the next game. I have a better chance of winning that. <clears throat> That's one of the problems with normal. But it's all good. Alright, Misfortune, Twisted Fate, 100% Bilge Water. I feel like Sapling Toss and Fleet Feather Tracker will be able to kill stuff. We do have to worry about Mega Rain, and so I need to try to play around Mega Rain if I can. Um. That's what I was thinking about with the even the last game, how we led with Sapling Toss on one, challenged, and then afterwards Tracker. I don't really want both of these to be in play at the same time because of Make It Rain. Um, so we're probably not going to play the Sapling Toss then. I'll just keep the two mana for Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, so like I could blinding, I could summon Valor, but that would be really bad against Mega Rain. So yeah, we'll just keep this two mana. Save 
Savior worlds. We speak with blades. And we can kind of see how interested they are in Make It Rain of how they act here. Man, it'd be nice to play that. Cool. I like having those things trade before, again, before Make It Rain or even, you know, Twisted Fate red card. Gotta be worried about Twisted Fate red card as well. For the glory. Good grief. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the glory of House Laurent. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem that good to me. Mm. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. You point wow. Okay, so basically just wanted to wanted to keep Blimps Beyond up just in case something happened. Son of a Our next turn could be pretty cool with oh Genevieve. Helm Heart and uh, No, don't get a zero mana challenger. Oh no. Take so, No <laughs> Ugh. They got me. They got me. So you are going to go challenge you. You're going to challenge you. I guess either of those don't really matter. You challenge you. You challenge you. Is it the Chevalier? Striking, we get to create a challenger. Good, not Twisted Fate. We worry about Twisted Fate red card. So not Twisted Fate red card, that's good. Light of hands. I've been so good. Why is this the Hearthstone deck? Do you tell your opponent what to block in Hearthstone? Slide hands OP. You call this a fair. You will 
Okay, there's no blocking in Hearthstone. Oh, okay, yeah, you just attack. You can just attack units in Hearthstone. So they, that stuff will cost one less because of Black Market Merchant. Well, we have a pretty good board. They have a ton of cards in hand. So that's going to level up Thresh. filled our hand though so we got four cards they have six we're two cards behind yeah we're going this deck is every everything has everything's a challenger unit this was created by swiftwing lancer so that happened but that shouldn't, that doesn't count. Everything's a challenger unit. So I like playing Fiora so that we have a repost available. Help me out. So repost cost here. You go, go block, Sithria. Just get out of here. Go block that thing or something. Can block that. Counter and strike. Basically, just thinking of do I want to block the four or six instead of this two two? Um. No. Well, Sithria is not. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna kill my Fiora and my Lancer. <clears throat> Why are they attacking with the four six? Sithria is not a challenger. Wow. Okay, so they're gonna do that. Sure. Just get another four damage in. Follow me. Should should mean they're dead. Probably. We'll find out. Thresh will go put Fiora into play. They would fall by my blade. They would fall by my blade. So they took two Genevieve Elmhards, because they played Genevieve Elmhard last turn, but that's not even the one that we knew about. Okay. Two and now. They will no match. The ultimate challenge. <laughs> that was my thing was supposed to play Shadow Isles units. Whoops. Well, we have Thresh. How does Sapling Toss doesn't count? I guess it's not counting for me. Alright, we'll keep Protege and... Honestly, maybe I need to keep Concerted Strike as a removal spell for Yasuo. Nah, we can mulligan it. 
Well, again. We're not like the best Fiora deck. We don't have, we don't have a lot of protection for Fiora. <laughs> Drew repost right on right on cue. Repost can help out. Post can help out. Obviously, if, if my opponent just like disconnects here, I'm not counting this as a win. We're just gonna go into the next game. Looks like they've just kind of disconnected. Maybe I should just leave and go to the next game. We don't want to deal with an, a disconnected opponent. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, we're not. Alright, we're not dealing with a disconnected opponent. Let's just go to the next game. That's not a good game. Um, the other, the last one, um, there's the four mana card that has Cythria on it. That, that's the elite that, that goes down, costs less mana for each time something happens. I don't remember what the name of that card is. Costs less for each elite that you played. What is the deal with this? We're about to head on over to ranked if this keeps on happening. <laughs> Vanguard Squire. Okay, this... Um... We send them all back. I mean, I'm gonna keep Thresh. Thresh is good. But we'll get punished if, if we keep Thresh and all we uh, draw when we mulligan are cards that cost four plus mana. Playing that card. What's even going on? New recruit, in. I feel like this has been like 10 minutes of us doing nothing. Fortune favors the bold. I'll do my best. No, I don't I don't think it's been announced what the gauntlet is for next week. One person in chat said and I I didn't see this anywhere. One person in chat said that the gauntlet is simply going to be just those two, like regular and singleton, and switched back and forth week after week. I didn't see that written anywhere or announced anywhere. That was just what one person said in, in chat. They should probably tell us in tomorrow, you know, tomorrow should should likely be a, an update thing, and they'll probably tell us then. An update thing on the news page. Okay, you think you saw that somewhere too, as, as like what they're planning to begin with? Is that... Oh, I had a Blinding Assault? I could have I cast that and... 
Found some stuff with that. Oh, well, I'm not going to now. We'll keep, like, Thresh with Repost. My shield is yours! Oh, we're just gonna take too much damage. I should have done this blinding assault last turn to you. Oh, I can't even thresh plus repulse. Why was I thinking I was gonna have six mana? We keep one five mana card, Mulligan, and our first six cards all cost four or more mana. <laughs> that is not a good handle, nor a good curve. So, that was not close. Disaster, yeah, that was our last game. Disaster. Get rid of that, get rid of that. The problem with Laurent Chevalier is it's going to like it, it's also it's great when it strikes, but being a three two that costs four mana against a removal heavy deck, it's just not likely going to strike if they're going to Mystic Shot it, and then uh, then we get nothing. Get our draw two on. Gauntlet, July 10 is Singleton, next to our standard. Well, I mean, July 10th is the next one. So it's just Singleton again? Know what the sapling's doing. Guess it's doing two damage potentially. While they were tapped out, I wanted to kill Ezreal while they were tapped out. Just get rid of that thing. What is when you return malevolence? Try to get this Eye of the Dragon out of here. We have a lot of 
lot of Mystic Shots. There's Cythria. But still, sorry Cythria. Like last time. We don't really want to play you. You're not a challenger. Okay, 10th is singleton, 17th is standard, 24th singleton. Okay. So to start with, for like the first month, they're just rotating back and forth from those two. Okay, good to know. Playing in sight of ages. Huh. Our deck is such a challenge. Two Ezreal's down. Two Ezreal's down. <laughs> I guess we can only create create Cythria. That's what Swiftling Lancer does, is just create Cythria. challenge there. Pass turn. That's fine. Peace begins within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Hmm. I don't know if this is even worth it. I think being able to be a challenger most of the time. Five, ten. There's the real Cythria. The, the, the real Cythria. Go ahead and stand up.
That is kind of crazy, though. We've, we've had four Swiftwing Lancers die, and they've only created Cythrias. And created three different Cythrias. Doesn't really matter what order we go in. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. So, are they going to finally level up Ezreal, or are they just going to kill me? without leveling up Ezreal. They're attacking for five. A Mystic Shot would be two more, so that'd be seven. Uh, that'd be eight, nine, another two, 10, 11. So this, this would be them attacking for 11, or like being able to do 11 damage. So I guess I just do this. Look for removal. I just don't I just don't have removal left. I guess I just take 11. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. I'm just I'm hoping that they use a mystic shot to target like my fleet feather tracker to level to try to level up Ezreal and then I glimpse beyond and they don't level up Ezreal what oh because they don't want cause they want yeah yeah because those Ezreal would die so yeah that, that's their that's their plan they want to have triple leveled up Ezreal jerk going to kill that right now. They will level up Ezreal, but these will die. And um, those will die. This one dies. That means I've killed all three Ezreals now. They've already killed the other two. They don't know what they're up against. So while Ezreal's leveled up, it doesn't matter because they don't have any, any Ezreals left in their deck. So it doesn't matter. Their pride will cost them. Hold nothing back. I guess we don't need Thresher first. Alright, so we're going to Judgment to take out both of these. Because obviously with them being elusive and I'm at 8, I want them gone. Taking out a lot of their threats from their deck. Beauty and the 
Okay. Okay, if we go straight to attacks, we're looking at 16 damage. And they are at 15. So, I guess that would make sense to go straight to attacks. I thought I was going to be doing just attack first with Elmhar and then maybe play this afterwards kind of thing, but I guess this just makes sense to go straight to attacks, especially when we got both of these. Alright, we're going to go with the, the two weakest things as far as... Yeah, that wasn't weakest as in health, but that was... This would have been weakest as in health, but weakest as in power. So bounce ball is still doing as much damage as possible. I don't want to back-to-back -back something with a lot of power, and then they will of Ionia that thing. And then I'm not doing very much damage anymore. Alright, three and one. With the ultimate challenge. All challengers. That was a pretty good game. We had a lot of removal. We drew all three of our single combats and a concerted strike. And so with all that removal, we were able to... No, two concerted strikes. Yeah, we drew all three of our single combats and two concerted strikes and a vengeance. We drew all, all of those, I think. Deep. That's, that's the kind of trouble that we are in deep. Okay. Good cards to get rid of. Vile Feast, Withering Whale, Jettison. Those are not cards I want to see, so good cards to get rid of. Mm. Thankfully, these things aren't attacking for too much, right? Like they're they're just two ones. They're not they're not attacking for too much. I don't love getting quad five mana cards. <laughs> don't love that. But yeah, the slow grind you down with all these challenger things. That's. Uh, pretty good for my opponent, who's just wants all their stuff to die and then played huge, over-the-top things. So, I don't think this matchup is going to be too good for us. But we're going to try. We're going to try. This Chevalier can be pretty sweet. You're just creating more Swiftwing Lancers in hand. That's pretty sweet. Okay, Thorny Toad, that's not... Um... I'll go Lancer. Lancer just attacks for more than Thresh does. Want to play it? Like, why did they attack there? They can just block next turn. Like, why was that attack beneficial?
Oh no, not a Cythria. We finally made a card that was not Cythria. So I want to play Elmheart, but what I'm worried about with Elmheart is Devourer of the, of the Deep. We've seen them got, they got rid of one Devourer of the Deep. Devourer of Depths. We're devouring something. Um... Ha. Huh. Hidden. You can't... You can't obliterate my Swiftwing Lancer. It is hidden. I can't target it. Can't target it. But this helps out against the, like, another Withering Whale. They got another one of those. Um, and I can even attack twice. Even if they go Devour the Depths, my 5-5 five five can challenge it, kill it, and then we get to attack again. And then the 5-5 five five can attack again also. You know, it'll be a 5-1. So this is looking pretty good. I mean, we got four things in play. One of them's hidden. My opponent doesn't even know about it. You know, what? I'm gonna scout. Feel like if they would have had something, okay, they just disconnected. They, I don't know if they were like, if they were rage quitting. Was their hand just really bad? I don't know. I'm giving them. I'm giving them chances, though. You know, like they could ruination now, and like I could have just attacked with everything, then they wouldn't have been able to ruination. But give them chances. I don't really know why anybody would be roping in normal you could just quick go to the next game so maybe it was actually a connection issue it just doesn't seem like connection issues are things that happen very often all right so we went four one but I don't know. That was a normal 4-1. Not, you know, definitely not a ranked 4-1. We definitely didn't play against better competition in that. Um, you know what? Because I, because I want to and we can, let's play an extra game in ranked. Let's see. Let's see how our deck does in ranked. Let's go play an extra game. See if our challenge, you know, got to do this ultimate challenge thing. Yeah, we're kind of left hanging there. Oh, uh, they were. You think that they were playing on the phone and then got called? They got like a call into a meeting. We called them there. Okay, yeah, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Let's keep single combat. <clears throat> Single combat could be good at killing Ezreal. This isn't a very good hand. See, I was gonna say, basically, like the Free Feather Trackers cost one, but they're really not good against my opponent's deck because their their deck has a bunch of one damage removal, parlays, Mega Rain, um, Twisted Fate Red card. It's not something that I really like having. It's just I didn't want to mulligan my only early play. And I'm glad we didn't with us drawing five, six, seven for our mana costs. I want to draw three. I want to draw Laurent Protégé. Fiora. Go with Protégé. No, not another five. 
This is exactly how our one our one loss happened, though, right? Like we just we mulligan three cards, and we only drew really expensive stuff. Good news is because we're not playing anything, they're not really playing removal. And therefore, since they're not playing their removal spells, we are uh, not really getting to find. Alright, they Mystic Shot, we single combat. Kill Ezreal and draw a card. But that's just their Ezreal trade for two of my things. There's Protege. Alright, we going Thresh or Lancer? Probably Thresh. Start having things die. Thresh to level up. We're playing in ranked this game, Luna. Because we're left left hanging, you know, went the four one in normal. We decided to just go go play one in ranked. Since yeah, since we had like some some games that we were left wanting. I play Lancer so I can still have Glimpse Beyond or single and single combat available. Instead of playing Genevieve. Of course Genevieve's good to play on their turn. I don't want I don't want them to get good use of this mana. With like what they want to do. I didn't need a block. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. Was not ideal. Mm. So, if I challenge the other thing, then that can be you know, they use whatever spell the powder keg dies, and then that's going to be three things dying and Thresh levels up. But does mean that Thresh is like almost dead, especially if they have, you know, if they have Mystic Shot, like how we kind of thought that they had Mystic Shot with it, with that um, Twisted Fate attack. So glad we didn't challenge there, otherwise Thresh would be dead. All 
Alright, so at least we have a leveled up Thresh. That last bullet, so sad. Seven mana. Fiora and Protégé. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She can be trusted. Living the life. Living the life. So that would be go to, to rank your phone's live with life. They have double warding shot. Riptide Rex. Um with me! These woods belong to us. The question is if I want to challenge there or not. Obviously, we're doing that that challenge. It's just, do we want to go have Elmhart challenge here or just ignore that? Um, I think we do. I'm not exactly sure though. I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or not. I'm just not sure. Lancer still lets me play Vengeance on the Ezreal that they are sandbagging. So I assume they're sandbagging Ezreal. If I play something else, I lose if they are sandbagging Ezreal. But then again, am I supposed to just keep up seven mana all the time? Maybe I just... I think the better chance of me winning is just saying, okay, if they do have the Ezreal, I lose. But this can give me... This can let me play like these two next turn and give me the best chance of actually winning the game. Be nothing left when I'm done. Hey, Fima! Thanks for the raid. Thank you, Fima. Y'all are coming in uh, right at the end of the stream today. Welcome, welcome. We had Meme Tier Monday. This deck here, here we're calling it the ultimate challenge because every single, every single thing in our deck has Challenger. Every single unit. We're not playing a, a single unit without Challenger. Quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. So I was planning on playing Chevalier first, but with drawing Repost, I'm just gonna have Repost available for some more protection. Their pride will cost them. Hey Protec. Yeah. So it's a good challenge for us. Playing something with all all challenge. Really? 
That's the one I can save. This is my opponent's third Riptide Rex. In the last four turns. Last three turns? Last four turns. I know I don't want to challenge here. I don't want to challenge there. But I'm worried about... I mean, if I don't challenge, they go like one mana, parlay, kill your thing, now you don't have a blocker. At least our Lancers are still creating Scythrias. That's the one thing our, our uh, Swiftwing Lancers just keep on doing, is create Scythria. So there we go. Um, deck was still definitely competitive. Definitely competitive, uh, and you know, didn't really do any of our cool stuff. We never really did Judgment or Unyielding Spirit. We never cast Unyielding Spirit. We did Judgment one time against two two twos. Wasn't anything special. So like back to back, didn't do anything really that cool there. Um, but yeah, this is this was a pretty competitive deck. We got you know had all these challengers. They were pretty good. You know, sometimes your opponent has three Riptide Rexes. Whatever. Um, but yeah, still cool little deck here for the ultimate challenge. This is definitely a good meme tier Monday deck. It's a the meme tier decks are all about. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave comments. What What do you want to see on meme tier Monday? What do you think of this deck? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. Try it out yourself. Let me know how you like it. I always, uh, always makes me feel better whenever y'all are saying, man, I liked this deck. You know, anything like that, leave those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching Ultimate Challenge, and I'll see you for the next video.